I'll wait for some of you uh, to uh, come on. Uh, um, hit that uh, share button. Invite your friends, family. I got a uh, show for you. Come on, come on, come on. I'll wait for YouTube to send out those uh, notifications. Uh, just hope that uh, uh, things are going with social media. That... Uh, that uh, the stuff I say don't eventually become censored, which we all know uh, the truth all, uh, will mm -hmm. eventually be censored because uh, that's just face it that uh, we are living in the end times. Hi, right. how you doing, Jen? I see you there. I see you. I see you. Come on in. Come on in. Got a nice uh, rainy weather right now, so. Uh, this is a perfect time to talk about what's going on. How you, how you doing, uh, uh, Road Shauna? Now see you there. I see you there. Hit that uh, share. Get uh, uh, get your friends, your family in here. How many of you believe we're living in the end times? I don't know about you but I see proof of it each and every day I see the hatred I see the wars the, the bloodshed the fact that we're no long longer uh, valuing life especially life of babies we don't value life anymore I'm seeing signs that we are in the end times People are hungry and they're not being fed. People are begging for help and they're being ignored. There's too much hate. There's too much sin in the world. Too much darkness. We are, I believe we are living in the end times. And now... The truth is being silenced. The truth is being censored. The Bible uh, said these things will happen. That the, uh, that they will see good as bad and bad as good. And I'm seeing that right now. The truth is being labeled as bad. And lies are being labeled as good. And they're censoring the truth in today's society. I believe right now our own government is making way for the Antichrist. I don't know who he is. But I believe the only way they can bring the Antichrist into this country. And this is my theory. Is to turn this nation into a communist nation but I'm not going to get the uh, politics COVID this disease uh, everything that's going on in the world right now I'm seeing as signs of the end time the Lord is near he's closer than ever he can come today he can come tomorrow he can come in the very second from now. And we need to be ready church. We need to repent. We need to own up to our sinful ways. Seek his forgiveness. And live right with God. We need to live right with God right now. More than ever. Because he is coming. Jesus is coming. And. And things are just going to keep getting worse and worse and worse before he comes. If you think things are bad right now, it's about to get worse. It's about to get 10 times worse, 50 times worse, 100 times worse. I'm going to read you a chapter. Yes, yeah, a chapter, not a verse. I'll try not to bore you. In Matthew 24, 
So if you have your Bible, you can actually join in and uh, read with me. I know I look a bit awkward wearing a shirt over a long sleeve. Uh, if you don't know me already, I'm uh, doing this while I'm uh, working and I'm wearing the We Are Christian uh, official uh, t-shirt over my uh, work uniform. All right, Matthew 24, verse 1. As Jesus was leaving the temple grounds, his disciples pointed out to him the various temple buildings, but he, he told them, Do you see all these buildings? I assure you, they will be so completely Later, Jesus sat on the slopes of the Mount of Olives. His disciple came to him privately asked him, When will all this take place? And when will and will there be signs ahead of time to signal the, your return and the end of the world? Jesus told them, Don't let anyone mislead you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Messiah. They will lead many astray, and wars will break out near and far. But don't panic. Yes, these things will come. These things must come, but the end won't follow immediately. The nations and kingdoms will proclaim war against each other, and there will be famines and earthquakes in many parts of the world. But all this will be only the beginning of the horrors to come. Then you will be arrested, persecuted, and killed. You will be hated all over the world because of your allegiance to me. And many will turn away from me and betray each other. I apologize. And many will turn away from me and betray and hate each other. And many false prophets will appear and will lead many people astray. Sin will be rampant everywhere, and love of many will grow cold. I'm seeing that right now in today's society, people. It's happening. But those who see the, what? <clears throat> Sorry, thought I got disconnected there. Where was I? And the good news about the kingdom will be preached throughout the whole world so that all nations will hear it. And then finally the end will come. The time will come when you will see what Daniel the prophet spoke about. The sacrilegious object that causes desecration. Standing in the holy place. Reader, pay attention. Then those in Judea must flee to the hills. A person outside the house must not go inside to pack. A person in the field must not even re must not return even to get a coat. How terrible it will be for a pregnant woman and for mothers nursing their babies in those days. And pray that your flight will not be in winter or on the Sabbath. For that will be a time of greater horror than anything the world has ever seen or will ever see again. In fact, unless that time of calamity is shortened, the entire human race will be destroyed. But it will be shortened for the sake of God's chosen ones. Then if anyone tells you, look here is the Messiah, or there he is, don't pay no attention. For false messiahs and false prophets will rise up and perform great miraculous signs and wonders so as to deceive if possible. 
even God's chosen ones. And again, I'm seeing that happening. Uh, beware of uh, wolves in sheep's clothing, as the saying goes. Then if anyone tells you, oh, sorry. See, I have warned you. So if if someone tells you, look, the Messiah is out in the desert. Don't bother to go and look. Or look, he is hiding here. Don't believe it. For as the lightning lights up the, sky, the entire sky, so it will be when the Son of Man comes. Just as the gathering of vultures shows, there is a carcass nearby. So these signs indicate that the end is near. Immediately after those horrible days, the sun will be darkened. The moon will not give light. The stars will fall from the sky. And the powers of heaven will be shaken. And then at last, the signs of the coming of the Son of Man will appear in the heavens and there will be deep mourning among the nations of the earth and they will see the Son of Man arrive on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory and he will send forth his angels with the sound of a mighty trumpet blast and they will Gather together his chosen ones for the from the farthest ends of the earth and heaven. Now learn a lesson from a, the fig tree. When its buds became tender and its leaves began to sprout, you know without being told that summer is near. Just so when you see the events I've described begin beginning to happen, you can know his return is very near at right at the door I assure you this generation will not pass from the scene before all these things take place heaven and earth will disappear but my words will remain forever however no one knows the day or the hour when these things will happen not even the angels in heaven or the Son Himself, only the Father knows. When the Son of Man returns, it will be like it was in Noah's days. In those days before the flood, the people were enjoying banquet and parties and weddings. Right up to the time of Noah entered his boat. People didn't realize what was going to happen until the flood came and swept them all away. This is the way it will be when the Son of Man comes. Two men will be working together in the field. One will be taken, the other left. Two women will be grinding flour in the mill. One will be taken, the other left. So be prepared because you don't know what day your Lord is coming. Know this, a homeowner who knew exactly when a burglar was coming would stay alert and not permit the house to be broken into. You also must be ready all time for the Son of Man will come when least expected. Who is a faithful, sensible servant to whom the master can give the responsibility of managing his household and feeding his family? If the master returns and finds that the servant has done a good job, there will be a reward. I assure you, the master will put the servant in charge of, of all he owns. If the servant is evil and thinks, my master won't be back for a while and begins Oppressing the other servant, partying and getting drunk? Well, the master will return unannounced, an unexpected, will announce an unexpected. He will tear the servant apart and banish him with the hypocrites 
In that place, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So be ready, church. We must be ready each and every day, every moment of the day, because we never, we never know when that time will come. We must be prepared always. Uh, right now, I'm seeing the church backsliding. Many churches aren't what they appear to be anymore. Many churches claim to be followers of Christ, yet they follow the world. I call those false prophets. Just like what Jesus spoke of. Churches, there are churches out there who will preach the Bible, preach the gospel, but yet live for the world instead of live for God. Stay away from, from those, as Jesus would say. The, the kingdom of God is near. Have, the heavens are preparing. Heaven is preparing. I see it all around. It can come in our lifetime. God will send his son. And I believe it will happen in our lifetime. How much darker can this world get? Mm -hmm. How much darker must this world get before God look towards the sun and say, bring my chosen ones home. Bring my children home. It's getting close, church. It's getting close. So, so we must turn away from our worldly pleasures and seek God. Seek a more godly pleasure we must be closer to God more than ever because we don't know uh, not even God, uh, Jesus knows and it will come like a flash of lightning so quick so be ready church be ready Look at the world with open eyes and you will see that we are living in the end times. In several places around the world, Christians are being persecuted. In some areas, they're being beheaded. In some areas, they're being thrown in prison just by believing in God. The signs are all around. He is coming soon. And it can be any day, any moment. And we must stay awake. We must live with God each and every day. We have to put God first in our lives, in our our morning, noon, and night. We, we must repent of our ways. And get closer. Get closer, church. Get closer. Because he is coming. Jesus is coming. I'm seeing children being ripped out of mother, their mother's womb. I see how love is being twisted. Love has no meaning. And the Bible mentions that. Love has grown has grown cold. If you look around, you don't see much love. You don't hear about it.
Love has grown cold. Hate is all over the place. It's on social media. It's on the news. You go on Facebook, I guarantee you, you'll uh, scroll down your uh, feed wall and you'll see someone posting about how they feel betrayed, how they despise a person. You'll see all kinds of drama. It's happening, church. It's happening. So we are becoming so far away from God. We are so far away from God. Right now we should be coming to Him. But yet we are so far away. And and we are getting further and further away from God. We need to wake up, church, and realize that we need God in our lives more than ever. We need to repent and we need to come to Him. Stop drifting away from God. Stop turning your backs on God. Stop telling God that you can do this on your own when in reality you cannot. We cannot do this on our own. Stop taking credit for things that God has done. And start giving Him the credit for the blessing He has given you. I got this job. Yes, I could say it was my hard work, uh, searching, uh, putting together a resume that my fiance helped me with. I could take credit, uh, give a credit to my fiance, but in reality, it is God. God blessed me. He pointed me in this direction. He had my fiance help encourage me so I can find this job. And because of that, this is a blessing. This is, this job is a blessing. We are living in troubled times. Look at our government. Look at the corruption that is in our government. All across the world, there is corruption. They don't care about us. We, we got to stop worshipping Hollywood. And start worshipping God. Worshipping His Son, Jesus Christ. We're worshipping Hollywood. We're worshipping the government. We're, we keep asking the government for help. Government uh, The government for this, for that. For food stamps, for a stimulus check, for money, for this, for that. When instead we should be coming to God and say, God, we need you. We need your help. The government, they want you to be on your knees and worship them because they want you to feel like they are gods. They, in their mind, they believe they are gods. And we're their servant. That's why they give all these handouts to control us. We mustn't bow down to them. We mustn't bow down to Hollywood. We mustn't bow down to technology, to social media, to the news. We should be bowing down to the one true God, the, the maker of heaven and earth. Beware of wolves in sheep's clothing. That's what they are. They tell you what you want to hear. But do they actually care about you? Do they actually care about you? They do not. They only do it for the power. They only do it for the fame. 
They only do it for selfish reasons. For their pride. But go to God. Seek Him. Seek Him and He will give you rest. If you're tired and weary, seek Him. If you are jobless, if you're hungry, if you're thirsty, seek Him. Seek God. Seek Jesus. Repent. Declare His name. Declare His glory in all the lands, in your homes, wherever you go. Don't be afraid to speak His name. Don't be that disciple that denied Jesus three times. We should be an outspoken, roaring like a lion Christian. Fearless. We should be fearless. This is the end times. And we need to stand up and, and proclaim His glory now more than ever. Because he is coming again. Jesus Christ is coming again. And people will see his glory. All over the lands they will see it. Rise up church. Rise up. Strap on that armor of God. There is a spiritual warfare going on right now. There is a war for our soul, our mind, and our heart. We need to rise up now, church. Rise up. And we need to go back to this word. Meditate on it daily. We need to study the Word. We need to get back into the Word. Families, I challenge you to get together at least or, or after dinner time or something. That I feel that would be like a perfect time right after dinner. Get together. Open up the Bible. Have a Bible study with you and your children. Because right now, many families aren't happy. Why? Because they left God outside. They left Jesus knocking at the door. And they're now opening the door for him. Jesus is knocking. He's waiting. We need God more in our lives. We need God to come into our families. We need to welcome him. In our family. We need to pray. For those who persecute us. We need to pray. For our loved ones. Pray salvation. For our loved ones. For our family. For our friends. For our neighbors. For our co-workers. For our enemies. Pray salvation. Because this, this dark time, this is dark time we're living in. Last year, I saw cities being burned. And our government called it a peaceful protest. How can that be peaceful when people's homes, livelihoods, their businesses, their jobs are being burned? ground people are being killed on the streets uh church being set ablaze government buildings being set ablaze 
uh, police officers being attacked, people on the street being attacked, and our government called that peaceful protest and did nothing about it. While families lived in terror. What about Chicago? Where they have more shootings. Daily. And one day several people will die from gun violence in Chicago. How much dark... How much dark must this world get? How much further away from God must this world get? Before Jesus tells his son, I mean, God tells his son Jesus to go bring the chosen ones home. This is the end times. Mothers are turning against their children and children are turning against their mothers just as fathers are turning against their children and their children are turning against their fathers. I've seen neighbors against neighbors, families against families, brothers against brothers, sisters against sisters. We are being divided because we are allowing ourselves to stray further and further away from God. This is what happened when you worship the world, when you live for the world instead of living for God we're dying we are dying without Christ we are dying without God in our lives We need a revival. We need to wake up the church. Because imagine if all the church were to wake up, turn away from all their worldly desires, their worldly needs, and start declaring in one voice that we need God. That we need Jesus. And start living and rejoicing mm -hmm. in his name. How amazing would that be? The time is coming, church. It's almost here. I don't know when. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. It could be next week, next month, next year, 10 years from now, 50 years from now, 100 years from now. I don't know when Jesus will return. But all I know is it's soon. And we should live like it's today. Like he's coming back today. We should live like that each and every day. Because I believe he will be coming back in our lifetime. That's my belief. Because I'm seeing the world how it is. There's countless wars throughout the world our government would rather put money into wars if we were to put all the money that we use in wars and put it towards food we would end hunger that's a fact we would end world hunger if if all the government around the world were to 
put all the money they use for all this pointless bloodshed, these wars, and these devil's money to end hunger, they would do it. It would hunger would be no more. But the fact that our government is turning their back on those who are hungry. They're turning their backs on those who need help. And because they'd rather focus on wars. Why? Because they want power. That's what these wars all about. It's all about power. Whoever has the most oil ha has more power. Whoever has the big biggest nukes have the bigger power. We must, we should stop looking up, we must stop looking up to the government. Stop idolizing them. Stop idolizing Hollywood. They're all filth, ungodly. And we must fill ourselves with godliness. Seek Him, church. Rise up and seek God daily. Rise up and proclaim His name. Rise up and declare that He is God. Don't give in to fear. God did not give us a spirit of fear. Don't give in to fear. Don't, don't worry about what others might think because you're a follower of Christ. Don't worry about what others might think because you read this book. Don't worry what others might think when you speak to God each and every day of your life. Don't worry about what what people might think when they find out that you are a Christian. Don't be afraid. Don't worry. And yes, we will be persecuted for our beliefs. Right now I'm seeing the Republicans, the conservatives being censored right now for speaking truth. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and many other social media platforms are silencing uh, conservatives, mm -hmm. Republicans, for speaking truth. And you know what? Christians are next. First, they're going to silence the uh Republicans and conservatives. Then they will silence Christians. This is the start. Mike Lindell. Uh, I don't know if anyone know uh, know who he is. If you know, you know who he is. He uh, is the guy who invented my pillow. He is a godly man. And he's also a uh, conservative, an outspoken uh, follower of Trump. And you know what? Because of what he believes is true, he's been banned off of uh, many social media platforms. And his product has been banned from many stores because of what he believes. And he speaks a lot of God's word. 
So this persecution is happening. They're silencing Republicans and, and conservatives right now. And Christians will be next. If they haven't already started silencing them. I believe there will be a time where we will be silenced and this YouTube channel will cease to exist because YouTube will have it shut down because we speak the truth and the truth is that that God is alive and Jesus is coming again and that he is the way, the truth and the light. There will be a time where this channel will be banned because of what I speak of. We are living in the end times where we are being silenced for speaking truth. Church, we need to rise up. There is a spiritual warfare going on right now and we are ignoring it. We are ignoring this spiritual warfare. And we need to rise up and say no more and tell this enemy that he has been caught. I believe that there will be a revival in the land. And it will open the, the eyes of many Christians, it will open their eyes of many church, those who have fallen short, those who have turned their backs on God, will then turn their eyes towards Him once again. We're walking out on that ocean, and many of us doubted. Jesus and our sinking. I don't know about you, but I want to keep my eyes on him so that I don't sink. So be aware that he is coming soon. Be aware of your surrounding of the how things are in the world let these be the signs these are the signs Jesus spoke of these and it is happening right now it's happening right now Rise up, church. Rise up. Because we are living in the end times. We are living in the end times. Bow your heads with me right now. Father God, help us come closer to you. We want to come closer to you. We want you to be the focus of our lives from the moment we wake up to the moment we go to sleep. We want to put you first in our lives. Father God, we believe that your son is coming and we are ready while there are those who have strayed father god we pray for those who have strayed that they will turn from their wicked ways and focus on you Father God, 
we declare your praise. We declare your glory in all over the land, in our homes, in our uh, in our neighborhoods, in our cities, in our government, wherever you may be, Father God, we declare your name, your glory. Father God, bring a revival to this land. Bring a revival and heal our land. Father God, we know you are coming. The end is here. We know that your son is coming soon. Father God, give us the strength to face this world as they will turn on us. Father God, give us the strength to continue to preach your name even during these raging storms of persecution father god we we receive your forgiveness we repent of our ways and we draw closer to you Father God, we thank you. We pray for our nation. We pray for our cities. We pray for our government. We pray for our men and women serving in the military. We pray, we pray for our men and women in blue, our front line workers, our firefighters, doctors, nurses. Father God, we pray for our families, our co-workers, our neighbors. We pray salvation for them. In Jesus' name, Father God. Rain down upon us. Give your chosen one the strength to rise up father god give your chosen one the, the strength to rise up and declare to this day that you are god and the only way to you is through your son jesus christ Father God, we declare these things in Jesus' name, in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, we declare these in Jesus' mighty name. And the church says, Amen. Thank you for joining me for this amazing video. Remember to not give in to the world. Don't give in to the world, but give in to God. Pray daily. Pray without ceasing meditate on his word meditate daily put God first in your day and put God last in your your day I want to thank you for joining me for this awesome amazing video the truth is We are indeed 
living in the end times. Everything the Bible has says has been coming, has been foretold and it's coming true. And we must stay true with God. We must we must live right with God and repent of our sinful ways. Jesus is coming. And I'm not going to be left behind when that day comes. Because I want to be right with Jesus when he comes back riding on the clouds. And I want to be riding right behind him. With all of the saints. With all the chosen ones. I want to be right there. When that glorious day comes. Thank you for watching this video with me. And remember, if you want to get yourself one of these awesome uh, We Are Christian tees, uh, go to the description down below. Uh, it's our, our YouTube store. I'm actually working on another store for our, our official website. I'm hoping to have up soon. But this is our YouTube store at uh, uh, at teesprings.com slash we are Christians and remember that all proceeds from all these awesome teas will be used to help uh, benefit this uh, ministry further eventually my goal is to uh, for this ministry to Go out into the world. Not only that, but even eventually have like a studio where I can do an actual podcast. I believe that they will come soon. God has wondrous plans for this ministry. And I thank you for your support. So uh, go check out our online store and and uh, pick out one of these awesome We Are Christian tees. We even have a face mask. Again, I want to thank you for joining me. And I pray that God will bless you. In Jesus' name, I declare that God will bless you in your in your coming days. If you are out of work, God's going to bless you with that job. I know times are tough because of COVID. But nothing is impossible with God. There's work for you. Declare it now in Jesus' name. If you're sick, Jesus says, come to me, all who are weary, and I'll give you rest. Jesus also says that there's power in his name and in Jesus name I declare healing over you declare it now declare that healing God bless you God bless each and every one of you and don't forget to uh, subscribe to uh, this uh, channel for awesome uh, videos I'll try and do more it's been uh, I've been super busy with work and and some uh, family time, but I'll try and do some more videos. So uh, if you like my videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to share these videos with your friends or with your family. Get the word out. Thank you, and God bless you.